The world's strongest man competition begins tomorrow in South Carolina with Southern California native Nathan Goldtree competing for the first time. And Jamie Maggio caught up with him for more on what goes into being a strong man and a love of dogs that might surprise you. So you've competed internationally in various competitions, but this is your first world's strongman competition. Yeah. Are you excited? First Are you one, nervous? Very, very, well, yeah, because grow like I, I watched it growing up. See these guys on ESPN or CBS, and and think about how crazy they were, and then got into it, and obviously the world's strongest man is you know it's the mecca, it's the the big game of of strongman, and so it's kind of been a slow burn and a fun. You know, I've done well enough here and done well enough here, and now all of a sudden, wait, I'm going there? I used to watch those guys on TV. So how did that happen? So I was doing power cleans, which is a basic movement a lot of people are used to. Um, had, had a decent number, and the owner did strongman of the gym. Hey, come out Saturday and do stones, you know, which are big concrete, you know, spheres. Um, and came out and did it, loved it. Competing filled a void for Nathan, who had played center for the University of Nevada football team for three seasons. When football was done and it's like, all right, that ship has sailed, all right, what can replace that? And you know, what's, what's the new chase? What's the new struggle? Um, and it's just a lot of fun because it's, you're constantly trying to improve yourself and push towards something that there's never really an end goal for. So that's kind of the beauty of it. What is a, like, daily, food intake look like for you? For me, not crazy really? as I'd like it to be because okay. I'll just get too big. I'll get too big. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just at about 5,000 calories a day, which maybe is crazy to some, but um, for, for me to maintain at the weight I'm at now, which is between 330 and 335, I'm about 5,000. So when you do this at the level that you're doing it, how does like the average person react to you when you're having a conversation, maybe at a restaurant or a bar or a party, they're like, all right, I want to see you lift that car outside right now. Yeah, well, that's what they do. They that's do that. That's what they do. Yeah, it's always, it's uh, it's drunk women want to arm wrestle, <laughs> and, the, uh, and, and the guys want to tell you how much they bench pressed in high school, <laughs> which is like, congrats on your 225. <laughs> what do you bench press? I'm like mid fives if I have oh to be. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Biggest and baddest dude is also kind of a softie, especially, <laughs> yeah, especially when it comes to animals. But yeah, that's it. I mean, you, that's you, it. you grew up with animals. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Like what kind? Uh, growing up, horses, goats, um, always dog. My absolute favorite thing in the day is playing with, you know, my French Bulldogs, which are the tiniest, smallest, can't breathe, unathletic, <laughs> great things to have. Yeah. yeah. But also kind of like, Needy. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> they're listening. I'm glad you're letting them know. Yeah, they are. Um, yeah, they're not one to go for a dog, but man, they're cute to look at. Yeah, they're an absolute, absolute highlight of my day.